This article is sponsored by YM Cinema 65, the perfect gift for filmmakers, moviegoers, camera lovers, and cinephiles. Why does Canon Cinema EOS fail in narrative filmmaking? Not even one Canon camera in that list, said the readers right after we published the Emmy 2023 camera chart, showing zero Canon cameras used to shoot this year's Emmy Cinematography nominees. Although Canon is pretty much popular in the docu arena, why is it so weak in the narrative world? Does Canon need to pivot its strategy regarding Cinema EOS in order to attract more DP to use its cameras in narrative productions? For years, Canon has been establishing a solid pick among wedding filmmakers as their weapon of choice on their projects. Canon always did a good job at developing cameras that almost perfect hybridization between still and video, exactly what wedding videographers want and need. Moreover, Magic Lantern has opened up the options for cinematographers who wish to utilize large sensors for raw imagery. The Magic Lantern showed the hidden potential of Canon DSLRs. Fast forward, Canon has released new Cinema EOS cameras that offer wedding videographers the best of the two worlds. For instance, the shift from video to stills implemented on the EOS R5C. Indeed, cameras like R5, R5C, and R3 have been extensively used to shoot weddings. That made Canon cameras to be defined as wedding cameras. Nevertheless, this definition has faded out since the introduction of advanced Panasonic Lumix and Sony Alpha models. Another area that Canon is good at is documentary filmmaking. That kind of filmmaker just loves the Cinema EOS form factor, reliability, and credibility. Almost all Cinema EOS models are considered workhorses. These factors are essential for shooting in a harsh environment. Furthermore, the imagery looks decent and in most cases is more than enough in docu projects. Furthermore, those beasts perform beautifully when paired with the excellent Canon glass. However, top camera manufacturers have been focused on adapting their cameras for docs missions, arming them with Super 35 sensors inside cinema bodies. Hence, Canon faces tough competition in the docu arena as well. A few days ago, we published the Emmys 2023 camera chart, showing all the cameras that shot the projects nominated for the Cinematography Award. The list contains Sony Cinema Line, Alexa, Red Digital Cinema, Blackmagic, and even Kinefinity. However, not even one Canon camera in that list. Canon cameras are absent from other lists as well, Oscars, Golden Globe, and more. Thus, the question that needs to be asked is why? What are the reasons that DPs don't use Canon on high-end commercials and narrative projects? Is it the color science, the raw workflow, the unsexiest of the products? Even the most high-end model, which is the C700, has failed to gain traction among DPs. When examining other film contests and awards, it clearly shows that Canon has a big problem. For instance, we've created more than 20 camera charts. Most of the charts show it clearly shows that Canon has a big problem. For instance, we've created more than 20 camera charts. Most of the charts show 0% of Canon cameras. In two charts, 2019 Netflix original TV shows and Sundance 2020 narratives, there was a very small percentage of Canon cameras which were mainly the C300 Mark II and C500. On the contrary, Canon won big time as the dominant camera at the Sundance 2021 and 2023 documentaries, C300 Mark II and C300. But again, it fails big time on narratives. As explained and demonstrated, it appears that the most dominant Canon Cinema EOS is the C300 Mark II. Indeed, that is a great camera. However, where's the flagship C700? Actually, it appears only once at the cameras that shot the Sundance 2019 selected narratives. The C700 has an option of Super 35mm and full-frame sensor and was designed to allow a logical alternative even to the mighty Ari Alexa. Indeed, the Cinema EOS C700 was developed for high-end productions. However, it failed to gain even minimal traction. There are rumors that Canon is working on the C700 Mark II model, which will offer a swappable sensor from Super 35 5K Global Shutter to Full Frame 8K DGO. That is a very impressive capability. But we'll have to wait and see if it goes real. And if it does, would DPs pick it up for their narrative projects? Would the C700 Mark II replace Alexa? We are sure it can. But the question is what top tier DP would think about it. Someone at Canon needs to pivot the company's strategy for penetrating the cinema market. Nowadays, Filmmakers have multiple choices per price range. The forthcoming C700 Mark II, which hasn't been confirmed yet, looks promising as explained. 
but so was the C-700, which was not accepted very well. Maybe it's related to the consensus that Canon's cameras lack attractiveness and that their design is banal. Canon should build solid relationships with acclaimed DPs that will utilize Canon Cinema EOS in their high-end productions. One thing is for sure, Canon needs a change. Let us know your thoughts about this.